Hi everyone. So today we're going to look at how I created the scene you just you just saw using this uh, Starfighter design that I built recently. I built this design using the Model Shop Greebles kit that I made in collaboration with uh, Big, Medium, Small. And uh, let me just uh, say what a pleasure it was to uh, to cooperate on this uh, on this pack. And uh, I think it turned out to be a, a, a really good product with characters, uh, posable characters and kit bits and ship bits and all kinds of things. You should uh, check it out in the link in the description. So here we are in Blender. So the first thing I'm, I'm doing is setting up a camera, of course. I'm setting up an empty as well. And I am tracking the camera to set empty. This means I have full control over where the camera is and what it is looking at in a relatively easy uh, to manipulate way. You'll also notice that the starship, this, this starfighter here, is stationary. And I'm actually moving the camera across it. With a simple scene like this and a simple uh, pass, I figured it's easier to just move the camera. It's important as well that you don't use you, uh, ease in and ease out on the um, the curves down in the animation there. Um, otherwise you're going to get some slow, warpy type movement that isn't particularly pleasurable. Then I'm setting up lights, a sunlight and a bounce light opposing that. A secondary tertiary fighter just to sort of play with the idea of composition. And I realize I need some sort of exhaust effect from these uh, uh, jets here. I'm using an old effects texture that I've made. And I'm doing some, some rough and tumble texture mapping on it. Trying to get the colors to match the orange of the uh, emissive material. <laughs> Here you can see, enjoy me struggling with the alpha planes and, and, and whatnot. Uh, alpha settings in the, in the texture. Here I'm just experimenting with a few different looks and see if I can get an, a relatively interesting appearance. Adding a star field in the background as a background texture. Need some more contrast for that. Continuing to play with the with the shader here. I'm gonna set up some quick uh, texture mapping, texture coordinates uh, mapping, and then animating the uh, X location there to make uh, make the the mapping flicker. And therefore, we make the, the fiery exit uh, plume feel uh, like it's jittering, like it, uh, it would be. Really, really simple effect. I would say it's too simple, and looking at it, I know that I'm gonna have to, to learn to uh, do a proper uh, volume or, or some sort of effect. But I figured it, it works for now, and um, I'd rather stay the course on, on uh, doing this... Uh, little sequence here without diving in too much into that effect that can come later. Here I'm adding uh, motion to the ships and you can see that I'm evaluating the, the movement of the ship based on the camera. So I'm looking over in the top left hand side of the screen and evaluating the motion of the ships there. Um, that means that in the analytical view, in the 3D viewport there, it can sometimes look a little funky. But it, I'm not really worried about it. I, I want it to look good. Um, in the viewport or through the camera. I'm adding some rotational uh, noise and some, you know, jet fighter uh, appearance to these ships, as this is fitting for the style of science fiction I'm going for. Let me be clear that it's not, uh, it, it shouldn't feel like zero-g maneuvering, it should feel like aircraft maneuvering. That's the, that's the vibe I'm going for. So refining some of this, again, I would say, in hindsight, maybe these should have been tracked to a path or something would probably have been more effective. So here I am adding 
the bigger capital ships, also from the, the big, medium, small pack, the people's pack, and placing them in the scene. Here I'm adding artificial bounce lights, manual bounce lights, if you will. And I'm attaching the two ships uh, to an empty to be able to animate them as, as one. I decide I need some more ships in the scene and just copy that around. Again, judging their appearance and their position and their speed according to the camera on the left. I'm second guessing myself in terms of doing custom lighting uh, bounce lights for the for the fighters and I'm adding an irradiance grid and uh, calculating that the lighting from that grid I decide it isn't worth it and I skip it and I, I go to full manual um, bounce lights on the ships obviously this wouldn't work if the ships were rotating you know a lot or if they were moving around in the scene with all kinds of different angles but since the the flight path and everything is fairly static compared to the camera and compared to the direction of the sun I can get away with it the benefit of this of course is full control over how much light you see where rather than an automated solution this is an EV so this technique wouldn't be nearly as necessary in cycles probably maybe but probably not Although I must say that I like being able to adjust exactly which bounce, uh, bounce which which artificial bounce lights uh, affect the the scene uh, uh, differently, so having that control is really really nice. Same for the for the bigger ships. Just putting in some planes, uh, some um, uh, uh, plane lights. So you can see the bounce lights are just attached to the to the empty and they rotate with the ship which isn't technically correct but you know it works again evaluating motion based on the camera i want some more dynamism in the shot and now i'm now adding some chaos to the to the ships and some dynamism and and, and you know airplane like motions not credible for space, but credible for the atmosphere and the vibe I'm going for here. Also adding some rotation to the camera to ensure that uh, it feels dynamic enough. And check this one out. This is the laziest way to do a planet. Previously, I've made a render uh, of a planet that is okay. The atmosphere isn't particularly precise and there's a lot of critique you can give it, but uh, for this, it, it, it serves the purpose. I decide to place it on a, on a disc and just uh, illuminate it and play with the um, self-illumination to the point where I like the look of it. Make sure the rotation fits the lighting in the scene, roughly. Not even precisely, but just roughly. And uh, position it uh, in, in space. Well, pun intended. Again, move it with the ships. Remember the cameras are... Uh, are moving uh, against the ships. The ships are stationary and the scenery is moving ever so slightly. Actually, if the scene would be much more complicated, it would then be simpler to actually animate the starships, uh, the, the fighters themselves, and not the scene. Here I'm checking the look of the render in Cycles and render in EV. I can't really tell a difference and decide to go for the effective solution of uh, rendering with EV. So that's it. Thank you.